evolution of sound. Beep, beep. What's up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and today we're going to continue the remix. Now, sorry if there's kind of like a delay with my voice or with the audio. Um, I'm running on Ableton, and in order to record these tutorials, I do need to run an MME DirectX, which is the one that creates a lot of latency problems. So hopefully, um, we don't run into those problems in today's video. Now, if you guys are ready, let's continue with the remix. One of you guys commented that this little lead here was too high an octave and I totally agree with that um, I don't know what I was thinking here so what I'm gonna do is lower this one down an octave it's gonna make it sound a lot better and a lot more full because you know when you play a lead in higher frequencies it tends to play the high frequencies really well but you lose a lot of that mid low mid frequency and it sounds very plain now the next thing I want to do is I also want to work a little bit on the drop just because um, you know the drop idea is good but I don't know if it's gonna be able to carry the track it sounds fine but I kind of see myself wanting more from it not just a standard simple melodic drop like that so, there you wait. so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna put some um, pianos on this now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use the piano from Ableton um, if you guys own Ableton you guys can go and download these for free to be honest um, and I just did that today um, I forgot that they had them so I'm gonna be doing that right now um, samples let's see if we can find a piano we go let's pick a bright one um, to go with this so let's you know just con command uh, control shift M or control shift T I think okay so now we should know um, there we go so that you're wasting all your day piano so now let's just move that in like that so we're gonna make something on top of this because then once we have chords we can actually think more about the drop in the sense of I know you look the other way I know you look the other way we're in the key of C minor so let's try um, doing uh, the fifth right now which is the G here I know you look the other and then it's going to go to the G sharp down there. You can go up to, I think it would be the, the B. I know you look the other way. That's not it. C, we got G sharp one. Um, is it A sharp or is it going to? I know you look the other way. You go to F. And then from F, you can go G sharp or C. Let's leave it at C. I know you look the other way. I know you long for something. And then here we have a uh, back to C, right? So for that one, let's just go down all the way to maybe the D sharp. I know you look the other way. I know you long for something. Wasting all your days looking for something that is right in front of you. Go uh, to see here, it's just a scene, place a high D. So that you're wasting all your days looking for something that is right in front of you. And I Now this note is a bit iffy because a lot of people are going to say it sounds off key. Um, so we can always go back down to the G sharp. some of that so let's see try this I know you look the other way I know you long for something new so that you're 
wasting all your days Looking for something that is right in front of you And I Just want them to notice you some of the errors I think this can go lower See, we can fix this lead. I look like a little bit more layers to it um, <clears throat> to go with it a little bit better. Um, let's try this one. <laughs> cymatics do the grunt work so you don't make your own white noises <laughs> just kidding though um let's increase the volume a bit orchestral strings to go um, layered with the super sauce to kind of give more of an organic feel to it as well 
Um, maybe we can find one here. String ensemble. And that's really going to help um, do something. I forgot who taught me this. One of my mentors that my progressive house, um, he told me that one of the things that he used to do is he would layer like violins or like, um, you know, just strings in general to play with the, with the leads of progressive house in order to get this really cool vibe to it. Like this warm warmness to it, I guess. <laughs> I am going to fix the chords. I know they sound a little bit off in certain parts, okay? Uh, I'm just focusing more on something right now. Now those effects happening with the kind of to the saws and stuff, I think we need to emphasize them by cutting them so. So here. I think I'm just gonna make them really generic where they just follow the rule because I was trying not to do that with um, G sharp is C so that goes there and well, that means this has to play
favorite bass but i do know that it has limitations like it needs a fucking sub so we're gonna make one <clears throat> just duplicate it Alright guys, so I'm gonna do these last adjustments and next time we're gonna keep working on this. So I'm just gonna add a sub to this layer with the bass so that there's like that nice fucking uh, sub bass there. And I have to go. Should I make my bass lines? Once you have a way to make your subs, by the way, stick to it. Uh, we're gonna add a low, um, warm up the lows just to add, you know, harmonics to it. Go play it together. Add these chords to the drop and we should be done right now um, we can always add different melodies happening there we'll just do that um. like a bridge to a second break that will keep going this way um, and then um, I think we're gonna make those vocals repeat to be honest um, we're gonna have to chop them up from every section here uh, but that's all for today guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video we did make the drop sound a lot better I'm liking the way it's coming out more um, you know when it comes to this series I literally try not to let the mainstream affect my decisions when it comes to the music. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and, and when it comes to this, I don't even know what genre to put it in. And that's where I kind of go like, okay, I am enjoying what I'm doing because this is just my purpose. Like, I like the way it sounds and some people might not because it doesn't hit as hard or it doesn't. But it's just the way it is. And I think it sounds dope to me. And that's the more important thing. So hopefully these videos help you guys kind of be like, okay. If Samuel can make some weird shit, so can I. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, like always, leave them in the comments below. And you guys have an amazing day. Take care and a peace out.